So you want to make a ball that shape shifts, that shape shit, that shape shifts. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 once again, taking a look at how to do this cool effect. Um, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get rid of our cube here. I keep right clicking because I'm used to that, but uh, it's been a while since I've been in Blender. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and delete this default cube. Goodbye, default cube. We're gonna go ahead and hit Shift A on our keyboard. We're gonna add an icosphere. Um, because these ha this, this icosphere I've hit tab, you see it has all these different points that we can uh, manipulate right here, which is really nice. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go out of tab, uh, edit mode by hitting tab. And we'll go ahead and add in a modifier. So we'll go to the modifiers tab. I'll drag this open a little bit more. And we'll uh, add a modifier of where it'd be at. Uh, there it goes. Displacement. We're going to add a displace modifier. Um, and we're going to go ahead and hit new on our texture and go to the textures tab down here and change this texture from image or movie to clouds you can see instantly now we have this really weird kind of uh, pointy kind of nexus looking thing I guess um, without it being you know wireframe we'll go back to the modifiers tab and we'll change the strength so you can see that now this kind of deforms when we slide this value we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, animate this by using um, uh, keyframes so we're gonna hit we're gonna hover our cursor inside this box and hit I on our keyboard then we're gonna drag open this panel down here by uh, just splitting our window into two we're gonna change this from the 3d viewport to the graph editor and we'll uh, go ahead and you can see we have the strength displace here this is this value we've just entered here we'll open up this panel on the right hand side here which is the modifiers uh, panel for the strength displacement and we'll add a modifier of the uh, the graph editor uh, for this line we'll add a noise modifier now if we go ahead and play this you should be able to see that it kind of jiggles around, right? Because uh, this is this is making the strength. Uh, you see the strength up here. It affects the strength, so it's making it go up and down really, really fast. Um, so we'll go ahead and go to my render tab here. Uh, what is this called? The output tab, and we'll change the frame rate to 60 just because I like that better. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. So now it's a bit faster. We want to go ahead and change this sh uh, scale so it's it's slower. So we'll change that down to somewhere around 25. Um, yeah, something like that. And we'll change the strength up or down depending on what we want to do. If I change the strength up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have to turn the scale up as well to match because I don't want it to be too fast. So I think that looks pretty good. But as you can see, we have kind of hot spots. So this piece is always going to go up. This piece is always going to go in. I want this to... Um, because like this piece right here and this piece never pokes out or goes in too much so I kind of want a bit more variation so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll downsize this noise modifier and we'll add another modifier which is also a noise modifier and we'll change the offset of this one a little bit and we'll change the scale uh, to a, maybe to a negative value this time and we'll change the strength to a negative value as well so we'll do something like this so now we have a little bit more variation here we can go ahead and do something like that, and we can also change around the, the phase here for a, a different random seed on the noise effect. I want something that's a little bigger, but not so big that it uh, that it starts looking ridiculous. Um, so I think I think that's good. We got a really, really big peak there at the end, which looks pretty cool. And we can keep doing this, uh, adding another noise effect over and over again. You can see what we're what we're doing is well, we can we can uh, change the we have, to, we have to do that. We have to change the blend types from replace to add. By the way, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, change the blend type to add, uh, or we can also do multiply as well. We could do multiply instead. Uh, but you can see this this kind of causes a problem. So we'll stick with add for now. We'll go ahead and do that and add on that one as well. So now we have both of them being added together. Uh, I do want to change around some stuff now that we have those added together though. So let's go ahead and change the strength to the opposite direction on the second noise modifier here. So we got something looking pretty cool so far. I'll change the offset a little bit on this one too. And I'll turn the strength up on the first modifier just a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, I like the way that's looking so far. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and we'll downsize both these noise modifiers and we can do a couple different things we could be done right now really um, we could also rotate this if you really wanted to so we'll go ahead and go back to this the beginning of our uh, animation uh, hover our cursor over uh, inside of our 3d viewport space hit i uh, rotation then we can go ahead and grab the object transform and for all these different rotations we can add in a noise modifier so now when we play this you can see it kind of rotates around we can go ahead and rotate it something like this and we'll have a really high strength number so that it rotates all the way around maybe not that much it's a little crazy uh, we'll change the offset a little bit 
and we could also change the depth to make this have a bit more detail so it kind of jiggles around like that which I think looks pretty good so we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the Y axis as well but we'll change the offset way off so that they're not uh, playing in sync because that's I don't like the way that looks very much we'll go ahead and do something like this um, yeah it looks good so far and then for the Z we will also do a noise um, and once again change the offset just to a random value just so it's not on the same exact path as the others and we'll change the strength up not that much <laughs> all right um, that's a little fast but I think it looks good and I actually don't want that that jittering f for today we'll, we'll do more more of a smooth animation um, so that looks pretty good I like that it might be a little fast so we'll change the strength of all of these rotations down just a wee bit so it's not as crazily moving um, I think I think that that subtle rotation is much nicer yeah I, I want a little bit more rotation on the X though so we'll go ahead and maybe we'll go we'll go like that yeah all right that looks good to me now what we can do we can do a couple of things like I said we could either hit control 4 to add in a subdivision surface and we can go to the modifiers tab and turn down the view and render um, because that's making it look kind of crazy and lag but um, yeah we can do something like like that um, and we can also go ahead and, and go up to object and change the shading to smooth uh, we'll turn it down a little bit more yeah alright so we can uh, do something like that to have like this weird shape shift and ball like that you know which looks pretty cool um, and, or we could do something else we could uh, we could uh, 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 get rid of the subdivision surface and we can add in a wireframe and have like a, a cool kind of nexus thing but we'll turn smooth shading back to flat for this um, let me get rid of overlays for this we can have this cool like nexus looking thing uh, we can change the thickness make it even more thick if we wanted to um, that looks pretty cool I usually like thinner things but that looks pretty good actually um, so yeah that's that's uh, that it's like a little weird like deforming ball shape shifting kind of like wants to burst out of there you know kind of weird thing so yeah that's going to be it for today's tutorial hope you guys enjoyed this cool effect that you can use uh in some situations uh but yeah i'll see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye bye